Here comes a sonic boom! Come on! Come on! Oh my goodness, come on! Um, what's up vlog? I hope that you're doing super well. It's been a busy couple of weeks here in SF but there's been some awesome things going on like watching air shows at SF Fleet Week, um, going on a Texas road trip to see the Starship launch and first catch ever of the Starship booster which was just mind-blowing and awe-inspiring. Um, but yeah, a lot's been going on and this is just a quick update video on that. Hey vlog, what's good? So today I'm at SF Fleet Week air show. Busy watching an F-35. an F-35B Lightning do some awesome tricks. Well, I'm not even American and I'm feeling patriotic. So the Fleet Week air show in SF was really cool. Blue Angels, uh, United 737, um, F-35 Lightning uh, fighter jet, like the most advanced fighter jet in the world. Uh, I think an F-22, just amazing jets and feats of engineering. Just flying around the top of SF. I was actually at a hackathon that day uh, in the marina. I'm at Founders Inc. and I just walked outside and walked along the waterfront a bit and was seeing these, this incredible free air show flying overhead. Um, so that was really cool and SF kind of went mad on Twitter uh, for that week just with all the cool planes and all the cool jets and that that people were seeing flying over the city and at one point at the hackathon we actually couldn't hear the presenters as they were presenting their projects because the jets flying overhead were just so loud and they were setting off car alarms in the parking lot. That was great. But back to the reason you're actually watching this video, the Starship road trip to Texas that we did was incredible. So yeah, we caught a Frontier flight early in the morning down to Austin, Texas, and then we rented a Tesla Model 3 S. Actually, I don't, I don't know, but picture the cars here. Um, and then we drove down to Boca Chica at the bottom of Texas, which was a road trip and a half. I think it was like 370 miles, 600 kilometers, but uh, super worth it and super awesome. What do we have here? Got some honey roasted cashews and some gum. More importantly, red Cybertruck. That's it, baby. So, um, for context, we're driving down to Boca Chica, which is right at the bottom of Texas, almost on the Mexican border, actually, to go and watch the fifth Starship launch. I'm so incredibly excited. It's quarter to 11 right now at night. The launch is at 7 a.m. tomorrow. We've got like 500 kilometers left to go. We're gonna get there. We're just supercharging the Tesla right now. We rented a Tesla. Uh, which is super cool. We had a slight hiccup with the guy who we were renting it from who says it isn't actually for road trips but his like car rental uh, listing uh, speaks differently so we're figuring that out together. But yeah, we've been driving for like two hours right now. The Tesla handles wonderfully. The like auto control and autopilot is just awesome. Um, several times it like anticipated bad drivers ahead of us moves and you know, corrected for them so that's cool. Um, how's the journey been so far? It's tiring. We've been, we've been moving since like six yeah. Road, but it's been fun. The real, the real fun starting tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Yeah, because we caught a flight in from um, San Francisco this morning, you know, via Denver. So it was a bit, a bit tiring driving the whole day. Sorry, let's go shut the door of the car here. So, a bit tiring driving the entire day actually, but uh, very happy to, on the way. Very happy to get down there and very excited to see Starship launch. Um, I'll give you a bit more of a tour of the Tesla in the light, but we're here just stopped at a gas station. Look at the amount of pumps here, man. This is true American style here, the amount of gas pumps there are here. Um, let's see how much gas is in this place. Uh, well, the last person spent that much on gas. But yeah, I mean, that's a quick update from me for now. Oh okay. it's $2.99 for regular and $3.29 per gallon for diesel. 
and for normal gas. <laughs> but yeah, gonna head back to the car, gonna chill a bit, waiting for it, the car to charge a bit. We needed a bit of a stretch and a break anyway. And yeah, heading to Starbase, Texas. So incredibly excited. See you on the road. So we basically drove through the entire night. Like we landed um, at like seven, got into Austin and had some food. And by the time we started driving, it was like nine o'clock. So we drove for like six, seven hours straight through the night, um, stopping at superchargers all along the way. At like two, three in the morning, we were like in some small random bottom parts of Texas at the supercharger, just charging for 30 minutes, taking a stretch, you know, waking ourselves up, swapping drivers. Um, but it was super cool. We met up with a mate. Um, so we had two cars then going down and yeah, nice road trip driving through the night and obviously also uh, really appreciating the Tesla's like we didn't have a full self drive but we had um, autopilot which is you know lane assistance uh, it stops you from smashing the cars in front of you and that and it can be easy to rely on too much but rely on it too much but it definitely helped um, provide like an extra sense of confidence driving late through the night we're all tired and um, out of focus a bit. Um, and just having like the car and that you know kind of monitoring your every move and that as you're driving is very helpful and uh, leads to some more confidence driving through the night i wouldn't usually drive through the night like that um but yeah we got to boca chica at like just before four in the morning and it was packed with people on isla blanca uh, it's like a water park right at the bottom of south padre island which is like the closest you can basically get to the launch site uh, it's like eight kilometers away um, so the beach was packed we, we ventured out we had a quick look and then we went uh, we like slept in the car for like an hour um, and then woke up at six and went down to the beach to, to find a spot to watch the launch. Morning vlog, we're here with the boys we're here at Starbase about to see the first catch attempt of the Starship or of the Starship booster. Can't see it right now because it's behind that boat but we're looking at the Mechazilla tower where the Starship is going to launch from and potentially be yeah. caught. So excited. There it is, coming into view. So cool. Yeah! Yes! Woo! Oh my gosh! Oh! Let's go! Is it gonna relight? Come on! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Here comes the sonic boom! Come on! Come on! Oh my goodness! Come on! Yeah! had a panic attack. That's awesome. <laughs> it's just hanging there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Total success. Total success. Hold well on Starbase. Hold well on SpaceX. 
And uh, yeah, just what an insane launch and catch it was. So we were eight kilometers away and I, I wouldn't want to be any closer. I've watched a Falcon 9 launch before in Florida and um, that was tame in comparison to this. As the, the rocket started and went up into the air, it was pretty quiet for the first few seconds and then the sound got to us and just felt like explosions and gunshots like ringing my ears. At one point I was holding my camera but I wanted to cover my ears. Um, it was just insane. You can hear in the video but like a pop 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 sound as the like engines like splatter the air towards you it was just insane. Um, and yeah, got up pretty quickly seeing the hot stage and then a hot stage ring fall down and the ship was just a distant glow in the sky um, and then as the booster started coming back towards the launch site you don't see it in the video um, but the thing was traveling insanely fast I think it was a couple thousand kilometers an hour um, but you only get a sense of how fast it was when you're standing there and you see it drop through the cloud and you're like oh yeah that thing is moving and I felt for sure as it got closer to the ground it was just gonna slam straight into the ground the engines weren't gonna relight but they lit and the thing slowed down like really fast and seemed to like hover and like slowly just edge towards the tower and I mean you've seen the Starship videos the thing caught it perfectly um but to see it with your own eyes and to like the entire beach was just screaming losing their mind I mean the video you watch you can hear me losing my mind <laughs> um uh but yeah it was just insane and awe-inspiring like the things that human engineers can accomplish when they put their minds and their maths to it and yeah, I, I don't know what kind of PID controller they got on that thing, but it was an incredible feat of engineering to witness and um, talked about it for like the rest of the day, the rest of the road trip back. Insane. Um, and yeah, like a really hectic road trip to get all the way down there and to like drive and spend money on the car and the, the trip and that. But um, yeah, something I'm always going to remember. Saw the first ever booster catch um, on like a physical tower. Insane, really. And uh, my timelines for Mars colonization have moved up after witnessing like that feat of engineering excellence, honestly. Yeah. So Huma and I, Huma and I are busy chatting and just saying we're so grateful we came all the way down here to Boca Chica to see uh, the Starship. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't go and see the actual Starbase launch site because it seems like they still have the rocket on the orbital launch mount where you're trying to detank it and they've still got some fuel left in it because they were that efficient with their launch. Uh, like seven hours later, so we're heading home back to well, not home. <laughs> we're heading back to Austin now. We've got a, a hotel there for tonight and tomorrow night because we make uh, lots of redundancy into this trip because we didn't want to come down here and then have scrubbed the next day and then oh we have to go home because we have a flight to catch. So we're going to be in Austin uh, tomorrow and then going back home Tuesday evening. But uh, yeah, your review of the day and of the trip so far. Something I'll, I'll never forget. It was incredible to be able to see the first the first catches really. Yeah, I'm super happy again. And just so that you know, the, the car is basically driving itself right now. Uh, I'm doing nothing. No hands. Put your hands on. <laughs> Look, mom, no hands. But yeah, we are heading back home, and we'll see you there. So it's like 33 degrees at this afternoon in Texas down here in Boca Chica. I think we're at the Harlingen uh, Supercharger. We're just stopping for 10 minutes real quick to get enough charge to make it up to Kingsville on the way back to Austin. It is super hot out here, so I can hear the fans of both the superchargers and of the Tesla roaring uh, to keep us cool and comfortable and to uh, have nice energy efficient travel. Good job. I'm going to get back in the car where the AC is nice and cool. So yeah, we, um, we then spent a bit of the day in Boca Chica and then eventually uh, got back on the road and spent the whole rest of the day driving, really tired, but um, we, we just drove for like six, seven hours, eventually made it back to Austin and then crashed in a motel. We were super exhausted. I think I slept for like 11 and a half hours and then the next uh, like day or two, because we built in margin to the trip, we got non-refundable flight tickets because the, the flexible ones were just too expensive. And so we had like two days basically to kill in Austin, which we were gonna, you know, obviously use if the launch got scrubbed and we needed to hang around a day or two in Boca Chica to see it the next day. So we just spent it in Austin, um, going to Waffle and Pancake places, doing some work on our laptops. I went for a really nice run around the Austin waterfront. Um, got to see the like fitness culture in Austin and the outdoorsy culture. Texas is very similar to South Africa actually. Uh, cheaper groceries, um, you know, hot outdoor lifestyle, very fitness based. Um, yeah, different to California, so it was really cool to see that. And obviously, when we were flying, to see the see the landscape from overhead.
What's good vlog? I'm in Austin this afternoon, busy walking, getting a lovely view of the waterfront. Lots of people running, walking their dogs out here. It's super pretty. And I am unfit. <laughs> um, but yeah, Austin was really cool. We met one or two cool people like at the supercharging uh, station of all places, just chatting uh, to people, finding out how Texas is like. Um, but yeah, then we um, went to a gun range as well in Texas. Didn't get to shoot because Canadians and uh, South Africans are not on their list of approved nationalities to shoot. But um, yeah, got some merch and it was cool to see the, see a Texan gun range. And we also got some really cool barbecue. Um, I'm, I'm told it's supposed to be amazing. The ribs were good, but the, my brisket that I ordered was way too smoky. I could barely actually taste the meat underneath. It was so like smoky tasting, but maybe that's just a personal preference. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was nice to experience a little bit of Texan culture just over like two, three days. And yeah, the Starship was just insane. Everyone needs to see a Starship launch sometime in their life. Uh, and of course, it'll be much easier to see when they are launching from Florida and Orlando and you can just fly in there and see it from anywhere in Orlando. And so yeah, then we flew home late uh, from Texas, uh, got back to SF around midnight time and just crashed. Uh, I've spent the last two weeks recovering from the Texas trip, both um, energy-wise and financially. <laughs> but yeah, I've just been uh, chilling in the house, working, I've got some client projects I'm trying to finish up and trying to uh, get finished and get paid for so that I can both uh, organize an LA trip I want to do soon and uh, buy some parts for a robot, a, a rover, like robotics project I've been wanting to do for a while. So I've just been locked in here in the house, grinding, um, not going out much. I went to a Worldcon event, which was quite cool. Got a really cool hoodie and uh, we're apparently all getting orbs, um, but it was a really nice corporate event. Got to see Sama on the stage again. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, messing up my sleep schedule by going to bed very late and waking up very late. I went to a Sarah Payne history lecture the other night with uh, Dwarkesh Patel, which was really enlightening. All stuff that has just been up the street actually in the mission. So I've just been walking places, lifting, eating, you know, saving some cash, doing the regular uh, South Africa in American things. Um, but yeah, I've also just been working on a SaaS startup that I want to, to launch in the next week or two. Just a small like Excel to website chart conversion tool. Um, but yeah, it's been a bit boring now in the last few weeks, but uh, things have been ramping up a bit and uh, coming into November now, there's some cool things planned. I'm more than halfway through my trip to the States actually, which is kind of um, insane to think about. I've been keeping a journal of like everything I've been doing each day. Um, and I think it's going to be really helpful going forward to actually remember what I've done every day. It's very easy to think back on the last month and think, what have I actually done? Like the time has whizzed by and I haven't done anything. But then you go back through the journal and you're like, oh yeah, I saw those people on Monday. I went to that event on Tuesday. I worked on that on Wednesday. Thursday, I saw those friends. Friday, I went to that cocktail evening. You know, um, there's been some cool stuff going on. We, went, we hosted a cocktail evening here the other night. We went to a bonfire. We went to a, a barbecue yesterday. There's been some fun things going on. I've been enjoying myself and um, getting a lot of good work done working in the house with so many cracked people and with, uh, you know, look at me using the lingo, uh, with so many people really committed to doing ambitious things has been really good for my own work ethic. And yeah, that's everything I've got to say for now. I hope that you're having a good day. Thank you for watching this update video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.